All right, everybody. Good morning. I'm off for a little vlog. Make sure my camera's working. Yep, it's working. It's been such a while since I used it. <laughs> I, uh, it was on picture, and it kept taking pictures. Well, this, uh, I'm off on another, another, uh, scouting on the, uh, 14 Fat Bob. Let's crank this beast up. All right. And away we go. I'm just going to take a short spin. I got to go get some gas. But I wanted to tell people, uh, thank you for joining my channel. I have a few people that join my channel, and I'm, I'm getting to know people all over the, the world. Uh, I'm not the only Christian motor vlogger out there. Uh, there's another guy, I think, out in England. Uh, I can't recall his channel name my, to my uh, embarrassment. But I can assure you on the next uh, vlog, I will uh, mention it, because he is one cool dude. Uh, today, the Bible story today is the places and the extent that Jesus goes to to meet some uh, a sinner uh, for salvation. And it's just going to be a little short little story. You know, Jesus, I learned this in Bible school. One of my professors told me this. Jesus goes and meets the sinner where he is. And Jesus was considered a friend of sinners. See, the, the Pharisees uh, didn't understand that he would uh, hang out with sinners. Uh, Jesus even said he didn't come for the righteous, but for sinners to repent. And Jesus even went to go to say that the righteous don't need a doctor, it's the sick that needs a doctor. When the Pharisees would, you know, rag them about uh, uh, hanging out with sinners. Well, you know, Jesus saved sinners on a tree, up a tree, and under a tree. Now, when I say that, I'll tell you why I say that. Recall the Bible uh, in the book of John where John the Baptist, two disciples, they pa Jesus passed up and John the Baptist says, Behold the Lamb of God. And uh, two of the disciples of John the Baptist went to follow him. They were interested in this. And uh, they approached Jesus and they said, Jesus, uh, where do you dwell? And he said, well, come and see. So they immediately became friends. Well, Philip, when he was so impressed with Jesus, ran to Nathaniel and knocked on Nathaniel's door and said, come see, uh, we found the, the person that Moses in the, wrote in the law about, his name is Jesus of Nazareth, son of Joseph. And, uh, and Nathaniel replied, can anything good come out of Nazareth? <laughs> kind of jokingly, you know. Evidently, Nazareth didn't have a, a, a good reputation, but uh, Nathaniel said, uh, can anything good come out of that? Well, remember now, when Nathaniel was brought to Jesus, Jesus said, uh, here's a man of uh, no deceit, a true and honest man of Israel. And Nathaniel replied, where do you know me from? Because Nathaniel never met him before. And, and he said, when, when you were on, under the fig tree, I seen you. Now, you have to picture this. Back, back then, it was really customary for the Jews to pray under fig trees. They used to go in the, cool, the coolness of the day and pray under fig trees. So evidently, earlier that day, Nathaniel was praying under, the, under a fig tree. Hence, under a tree. What I was first saying, Jesus saved the people, saved, goes to the sinners under a tree, up a tree, and on a tree. So he, he met Nathaniel under a tree. Uh, uh, and Nathaniel was really impressed that uh, that he uh, he knew uh, that he was under a tree praying. Now the next one, up a tree, uh, Jesus was coming through a town, and they had a big crowd following him. They had a a real 
uh, hated uh, tax collector. He was the chief of the tax collectors, and his name was uh, Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus was a short man, the Bible says. He was a man of a, a short statue. And, uh, and he, uh, he wanted to see Jesus, this sinner, this uh, chief tax collectors. And we all know that tax collectors were looked down upon as scum of the earth and traitors of the nation Israel to the Romans. So uh, Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus so bad, and he was short and he couldn't look over the crowd. So he rushed in front of Jesus' path and climbed up a, uh, a tree. I believe it was a sycamore tree. And uh, Jesus came by and seen his short dude up on a, a sycamore tree. And he stopped. He immediately stopped and the whole crowd stopped. He looked up the tree. He never met Zacchaeus before and Zacchaeus never met him. He looked up and I, I can just see Jesus with a smirk on his face saying, Zacchaeus! come down from that tree today I'm a bite at your house and everybody freaked out they would say and all the Pharisees were freaking out everybody was freaking out how could this man that proclaims to be the Messiah want to go stay at that sinner's house uh, that chief tax collector's house well he did and Zacchaeus got converted into a Christian and uh, and uh, he repented of being a, a, a dishonest tax collector, and he gave back all the money. He, he, when he got saved, he said, I'm giving back all the money that I ripped off, for lack of better terms. Uh, I think many foals, and uh, he gave back uh, tons of money to people that he uh, misappropriated and overcharged and everything for his own use. And uh, so he met Zacchaeus up a tree be it that Zacchaeus climbed up a tree. Now, the, ne the last one, where Jesus met a sinner on a tree, recall where when Jesus was being crucified, he, he's being, he's dying. There's no way to put it. Jesus is on the cross dying for world, the world's sins. Let, praise God for that, because our salvation would be vain if it wasn't, if that didn't happen. And he was on a tree, and the uh, the thief that was on the, the, the other side of him said, uh, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus told us the, the sinner on the cross that was dying with him, he said, today you will be with me in paradise. So it just goes to show you the link, the, 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 the length and the... Uh, the uh, avenues that Jesus goes to uh, to uh, meet a sinner it's it's absolutely amazing he saves he found sinners up a tree Zacchaeus under a tree with Nathaniel and on a tree with the thief so don't ever think I don't care how bad a sinner you you are uh, or what your story is don't you ever think God can't meet you in your situation because God knows all and is omnipresent and he can meet a sinner anywhere. So if you're deep in distress and you need God's help, do, do not think that Jesus can't come where you are. Jesus came to me over the years, many years ago in a very dark, dark place. In a very dark, 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 dark place. When I was uh, suffering uh, uh, and, uh, and all that. Well, well I'm, at, I'm at the gas station, as you can see, people. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the sign off for now. And I'll catch you all later. I hope you all enjoyed the short Bible story. Remember, G Jesus saved the sinner up a tree under a tree and on a tree and it can meet you in your any situation that you're in i'll sign back in on the way back thank you now god bless everybody